there are some people who are saying that your, your tariff threats threaten to plunge the economy into a recession. Harley-Davidson announced that it's moving a plant to Thailand. You've been very Harley critical Davidson about that. Harley-Davidson was going to do that. They announced it early this year. So Harley-Davidson is using that as an excuse. And I don't like that because I've been very good to Harley-Davidson, and they used it as an excuse. And I think the people that ride Harleys are not happy with Harley-Davidson, and I wouldn't be either. Uh, but mostly companies are coming back to our country. Uh, I was the one that explained to Harley about 100 percent tax in India, where they had a tariff of 100 percent. And I got it down to a much lower number. I think it's 50 percent, which is far too much. But they were paying 100 percent tariff. Now, uh, Prime Minister Modi brought it way down, but it's still way too high. No, I will say this, John. Other countries are negotiating. And without tariffs, you could never do that. And if they don't want to negotiate, then we'll do the tariffs. And just remember, we're the bank. We're the bank that everybody wants to steal from and plunder. And it can't be that way anymore. What I would like to do, and what I offered at the G7, you remember, I said, let's drop all tariffs and all barriers. Is everybody okay with that? And nobody said yes. I said, wait a minute, folks, you're complaining. No tariffs and no barriers. You're on your own. Let's do it. And it was like they couldn't leave the room fast enough. The bottom line is countries are coming back now to negotiate, including European Union wants to negotiate. Because if they don't, we're going to tax their cars. They send Mercedes in. They send BMWs in. They pay almost no tax. When we send cars to the European Union, they charge